the certified Angus beef label, one of the most recognized meat labels at the grocery store shelves, making it a strong program that continues to grow. RFD-TV's Janet Atkinson reports from the 2016 American Angus Convention in Indianapolis. Well, if you ever want to know what's going on in an organization or within an industry, it's always great to talk to the folks in charge, and that is just what we are going to do now. We are joined now by Alan Michigemba. He is the CEO of the American Angus Association, joining us here on set at the conference. And Alan, uh, first of all, uh, congratulations. You've been with the organization here for about 11 months or so. Uh, tell us a little bit as far as uh, the, the market goes. How did the Angus Association, how did the breeders fare this past year? Yeah, it was a good year for us. Um, we were actually up in registrations this year about five so we ended up with uh, 334,607 animals registered, right? So when, if you think about it from a business day perspective, our members register over 1,200 animals per day, right? Wow. So that, that's impressive and that's good. It was actually our 15th largest year ever. But then the other question that has to relate to pricing. Uh, bull prices and, and females were down a little bit this year, but we've got to remember that 2015 was record prices. And if you take our 2016 average and if you look back at 2014, they were significantly higher than 14. Our bulls were 12 percent higher. Females are almost 40 percent more than even two years ago. So we're, we're in a very enviable position. I would say so. Now you guys, uh, as an association, you work to develop the breed and expand the breed, but you also work to develop leaders within the organization. Talk a bit about that. Yeah, that's a, a very important part of what we do. Leadership is very important to us. We take our leadership role very important, but we also have to have leadership. Leaders be developed to, to serve in leadership roles. So our events and education uh, team does that, and uh, we have a number of uh, symposiums, conferences throughout the year, and, and, and we identify your leaders early on through the National Junior Angus Program, and then as they become regular members as well. And we did have the opportunity to meet uh, one of the Angus ambassadors, a young lady from Washington uh, who's participating through the organization. You also have a Queen program and other scholarship opportunities. Yeah, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Garcia is quite the uh, young lady, um, and we do. We have some great young people. It's great to be around them. They, they really energize you, and they're, they're so focused. And, and, and it's, it's not just that they happen to be Angus breeders. They're, they're agriculture youth, right? And they were raised with good values, great work ethics. So it's always fun to be around them. Well, of course, we always have to look forward to the future. Uh, what about the association's long-range plans? Yeah, Janet, we just concluded uh, doing that. We're actually going to unveil it later this week at the uh, at, at our annual meeting. Uh, but it was it was a great process. We've literally been working on it for about six or seven months. We interviewed a, a lot of uh, key opinion leaders throughout the industry. We did a lot of uh, survey work of both members and, and the commercial market. We looked at a lot of industry analysis. Uh, and ultimately, after all that time, the board voted to uh, focus on five different areas, uh, one being genetics, one being the commercial market, one being uh, product or certified Angus beef, one being leadership and then the final one being research. Um, and, and not in any particular uh, order of importance. But those will be our areas of focus for the next three to four years. Well, Alan, thank you very much for taking the time to join us. We appreciate it. Again, talking with Alan Michigemba. He is the CEO of the American Angus Association. Now, of course, if you want to learn more about the breed or even some of the leadership opportunities that Alan mentioned, you can go online to angus.org. On the road in Indianapolis, I'm Janet Adkison, RFD TV News. Thank you very much, Janet, for additional reports on the, we'll have additional reports, by the way, from that convention tomorrow here on Market Day Report, and we're going to have more tonight on your Rural Evening News.